So Cole and I are in a position now where uh, the increasing the speed is our priority with our full swing. So we're going over what we've talked about in the past few weeks about the elements in his swing that will create speed, and we're reviewing the backswing pieces that we talked about, and also some of the downswing swing direction, um, seeing where we're at relative to the work we've done and what we talked about, and seeing if we're ready for the next steps. I want to check the pieces from last time and just see where we're at with those things. We need to make any minor adjustments, and then I want to have a conversation about the driver again today and the impact dynamics. And um, I tried to change the shaft, but yeah. the piece on the end's not the same, so I couldn't... Oh, for the it. lighter shaft, yeah. yeah. I would be interested to see if you go somewhere with someone good at fitting, if they could fit you into faster speed with just... I, my, my intuition is yes, they would. Well, I mean, I think anything would be good. I think a gain distance yeah. or miles per hour, yeah. So it's interesting. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So give me just five normal stock ones. Normal stock ones mean you're still feeling the backswing stuff. Full routine? No, full routine. So just five shots. Where you're still feeling the pieces. Yeah. Yep. So what I've been doing initially just for like the takeaway mm -hmm. is like I just do that as like a rehearsal move. Okay. Just to like get the feeling. Okay. It's kind of low on the face. Love the excitement. <laughs> Two more, please. All right, so um, show me first before we go over that, show me the backswing pose up to the top and hit. And I'd like to see three of those, please. So position one, position two, then hit? Yep. Position one, position two. And one more, same thing. Spot one. Spot two. Okay. Now, uh, let me see you with the stick in, please. Do you have the yellow one? No. Okay, let me grab one of these. So let me see, just give me three with that. How have these been going when you're doing them? Uh, they're feeling much better. The contact is better. Just that one was thin. I'm understanding the fact that you really have to like keep the shoulders moving through the shot. You know yeah. what I mean? I can't stay back here and just like yeah. throw my hands at it. Okay. Okay, now let's see the basket for three and then we'll talk. 
Yep, so we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna just move this a little bit more forward. Sometimes when I do it, I put it in the top one, it makes it steeper. Is that good or not good? Yeah, it's a good question. I think there's a point of like too much. Um, because like if I put it in like this, it seems like pretty easy. From here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let me see you do it from here first. I don't know that I'd want to go any higher than that. Because that's just like too much exaggeration. There might be, yeah, there's deeper reasons than that, but. Let's try with this first. Oh, wow. Keep going with that. Take your setup for me, please. Keep your hands on there. Okay. That still feel pretty good when you do that. Yeah, it feels good. It just, I don't know, like initially when I started doing it, it felt a lot better. Than it does now. I don't know if it's because it's like working in, so it's. Yeah. I don't know. Or I don't know if I'm trying to do it faster than I originally was. Got it. Which okay. probably makes okay. it harder to do. So let me, let's go over a couple of things here. Um, let me pull this up. This is the first one. From here, I'm going to show you what I like so far. So that's pretty neutral. Mm -hmm. That's still your hands kind of getting Working. away as you yeah. turn with yeah. the club head. But we could we could live there. Would I like that to be better in terms of your hands in? Uh -huh. I would. Now you you are staying much taller. You're not doing the press down. Yeah. Which is part of why that's like how that is. Uh -huh. um, so that would be, I would, I would say that's okay, but I'd like it to be better. So I want to, we're going to do that a little bit more, meaning your hands would stay closer to your body and a little more in, a little, mm -hmm. a little. At this point, we're pretty good. And then here we go to the top. Now we're getting to the point where the left arm is now getting much better. Yeah. Right. But in that, terms, like, in my opinion, mm -hmm. that is still way too low, right? I don't think so. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to define what is low or is not low relative, your left arm relative to your shoulder yeah, it's, line. It's more upright than the shoulders. Right, exactly. But Johnny B's hands are like up in there. He's super vertical. Yeah. yeah. Hogan's super low. Uh huh. Who's right, who's wrong? Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know? I don't want your left arm going way lower than your plane where you were to start. Yeah. So that to me is much better. There's, there's a next piece of this uh -huh. that we have to talk about. We're getting to the point where we're now ready for that. But that part looks good in terms of how high they're going. Yeah, okay. That would look good. Let me show you from here. Here's what I really like about this. So just in terms of your pivot. So I think that that looks pretty good as well. Yeah. Now, like, not a lot of knee kick in or anything like that. Yeah, so could you exaggerate this more and go more for speed? Mm -hmm. You could. What I'm seeing here is the exaggerations that we're doing in your normal swing are putting you basically in middle grounds. Yeah. Meaning if you want them to be in your swing more, that's not, that does not require more time, in my more, opinion. More exaggeration. Correct. 